Okay, so we're just gonna like ignore <gasps> the horrific sunburn I got yesterday. Hey guys, it's Cleo. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm like really sunburned as you can tell it looked like a lobster and like not on this side as bad at all How I was sitting I just got way more sunburned on this side and I didn't think I was gonna be outside for that long So I hadn't put sunscreen on and I didn't think I was gonna be in the blazing sun horrible idea Make sure to always put on your sunscreen and my face got kind of sunburned too, but not like really bad So as you guys know, <laughs> I have a lot of brandy clothes. You guys seem to always like my brandy videos I thought let's literally make a video of all of them. I could just try them all on and kind of show them to you, but I thought it would be a good idea to rate them from 1 to 10. So I'm going to be trying them all on, talking about them, showing them to you. I won't go too in detail because like I do have a lot to show you. Obviously, I don't have anything I hate because I would have gotten rid of it, but there are some things that I have that I don't love and there's some things that I'm like obsessed with. So this might be a long video, so grab a snack and let's get into it also i will have as much of it listed down below like the links as i can but some of this stuff might not be on their website might be on paxson's website so i'll try to find it if i can't find it i'll put up the names and everything so you guys can look for it on depop if it's not on the website or poshmark or anything like that i don't know what to start with though i have a huge pile of it okay so first up we have these gray yoga pant type sweatpants i really really like these they're super comfortable i wear them all the time if these didn't have the draw string I don't think I'd be able to wear them because as you wear them the waist kind of stretches out a bit they are more kind of like low-waisted they have a bit of a flare they're super comfortable they're like a good thickness and I believe they have these in different colors so I would give these a 8 out of 10 because I do really like them I do wish waistband was a little bit more like of an elastic material also I'm not gonna give anything a 10 because they don't have sizes in my mind none of it deserves a 10 if none of them have sizes so the most I will give if I love something is like a 9.5 okay up next there graphic t-shirts so first up I have this light purple one this Prince graphic on it I think it's really cute it's nice and oversized and then I have this New York one and then I also have the Bugs Bunny one these are great they are a really good material it feels almost worn in if that makes sense but like in a good way it feels soft and not like stiff which I really like in an oversized shirt I do honestly really like them the only thing I would say is that I am a bit on the taller side I don't know if five six is tall but they are a good length on me but I do wish they were like a bit longer so it would be nice if they had a couple sizes in these so you could get them more oversized if you do like that because I personally like them to be more oversized I would give these a honestly like a nine they're really good and I really like the material and I feel like they are decently priced for the quality okay up next the Skylar tank so this is just this like white and blue striped one I do really like these tanks just for like chilling and sleeping and they're just like a good casual tank top but this is after wearing it as you can see it is so stretched out movement and having it on for some reason stretches material out so much like when you wash it it's really nicely fitted I just don't like that it does that and it gets so baggy I wish there was a bit more of an elasticity to it so that I didn't do that they used to have Skylar tanks that had that more like stretchy elastic material while still being soft so they were like really fit to your body nicely so I would definitely rate those ones higher but for this one I'm gonna have to give it a 6.5 because I honestly just not my favorite okay up next we have this oversized button up striped shirt i absolutely love this shirt i think it's so freaking cute i love the striped detail of it i love the fit of it it's like perfectly oversized it's like soft but it still has that kind of like button up shirt texture if that makes sense i'm honestly going to give this one a nine the only thing is that it is a tad bit expensive again obviously i'm not going to rate any of these super low because i have them <laughs> there are things that were any that i would rate like a three or less that i really dislike but obviously i don't own any of that stuff okay up next we have this cable knit zip up so I actually got this from PacSun because they sell brandy stuff. This is definitely one of my favorite things from them. The material is like so freaking soft. I just love that it's a zip up. I love this color. It's just a super pale blue color. And I love that it's cable knit. It's just so cute. And it's not like an itchy knit or anything. It's like a super, super soft one. Really good quality. So this one I'm going to have to give a 9.5 out of 10. Okay, up next, the Erica sweaters. So I have this black Los Angeles graphic one. And then I also have this brown malibu one the one thing i love about these is the material just a such
such a good heavy soft comfy material that I just love one thing I think they do really well is their hoodies and stuff I'm gonna have to give these a 9.5 as well and same thing with the hoodies so this is the Christy but it's not the zip up one I love this one it's definitely one of my favorite ones so this one is very similar to those but has a hood I would give this the same rating I really like these as well okay up next I have this little t-shirt I showed this kind of recently in a haul it's just this really lightweight t-shirt this was really I think this was like 14 bucks or something it definitely shows in the material but I did get it because I wanted a super lightweight t-shirt and I liked this one because it's just super comfortable but it's nothing special you can definitely get one like this at Target so I'm gonna give this one a seven not at all one of my favorites it's just like a basic okay moving on to probably one of their most popular items which is their Rosa sweatpants so this is the only pair I currently have of these I've had multiple different colors and stuff and these are the only ones I've held on to because for some reason as I've said before they're more neutral colors like gray white black those ones tend to be a baggier looser style but then they're brighter colors like the pink the green any of those are much tighter and also shorter so I personally like hate that in sweatpants I really don't like when they're tight so these are the only ones I've held on to these ones are like nice and baggy and roomy and super comfy and I really like the material but the colored ones tend to be a stiffer less soft material overall the Rosa sweatpants in general I would give them a 7 maybe a 6.5 but these ones and any ones that are more baggy I would give probably 8.5 okay up next these yoga pant type leggings also one of my favorite things from them hence why I have have them in three different colors I have this kind of like faded navy blue then I have this super light gray and then I also have them in black so obviously I like them. So these are one super stretchy so I do think that they definitely can range in what sizes they can fit. Two they're super super comfortable. I am the type of person where it's like if I'm gonna wear leggings I'm not about to put on leggings that are itchy that are too tight like I just don't want to deal with that. And then three I love the flare look on these and the fact that they are that kind of like 2000s yoga pant style with like the fold over waist. I just think it's so freaking cute. And one thing I will say light gray color does seem to be a bit see-through so yeah these are definitely one of my favorite things from them so i would give these ones a 9.5 okay up next this bell dress this is the bell lace dress i believe and it's just in black i've had this for a really long time it's just like a nice stretchy ribbed material and it is a good thickness it just kind of fits to your body it has some cute lace detailing at the top with a bow i feel like this is just a really good basic sometimes bodycon dresses can be really uncomfortable but because this one has so much stretch and it is a soft material it does just like feel really nice to have on so i would give this one a nine Okay, so up next we have this floral skirt. So I have one that is this length and then I also have this navy blue one that is a longer like mid length. They are different. They're not the same name. I do really like these. They are a tad bit thin. I think in sunlight they definitely would be see-through, but they are a nice fit. They're super flowy, super lightweight, very good for summer. Yeah, I mean they're super cute. The waistband is really stretchy. So I would probably give this one, honestly both of them because the material is super similar. I'd probably give them both an eight. Okay, up next I have have these like cargo painter pants they are super cute they are really good quality and I do really like the style they can like cinch at the ankles or you can just kind of let them be baggy and they have big pockets all over them I would give these ones a eight and then very similar to those ones these dark blue painter pants style jeans super similar to those these are really nice quality as well and I like the style of them I'll give these ones an eight okay, up next the summer shorts in this light gray color I absolutely love these they're super comfy they're this this waffle material they have pockets stretchy waistband I would give these ones a nine just because they're super comfy and then the Arden hoodie I just have it in this white color I've also had it in a blue I think these are really cute I think if you want more of a fitted zip up kind of crop situation these are great they do have a double zipper which is nice in theory but it gets stuck all the time and it's really hard to zip up for some reason I always kind of just have it unzipped over like a tank top so I don't really deal with that much overall the material is really good it's like a kind of stretchy rib material I would give this probably an eight as well okay next up we have one of my longer living brandy items that is kind of beat up it's this brown thermal long sleeve but it has like some discoloration from I don't remember probably washed it in the wrong load or like got a little bit of bleach or something like that on it so it is a bit like blotchy the only reason I still have it is because I just wear it to bed because it is actually really comfy material I love that waffle material one thing I will say though that I don't like about this similar to that Skylar tank top is the more you wear it the more stretched out it gets as you can tell right now it's super stretched out because I did wear it the other day 
I'm probably gonna give it a 6.5 for that reason. Up next, the Christy Zip Up hoodie. I have it in the white with the Heaven Send graphic on the back. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I've had this for so, so long. And then I also have this forest green one. I just love the color of this so much. And then I also have the brown one that I also really like. These are honestly just such a freaking good material. Super similar to the Eric ones that I was talking about before. I love zip ups much more than a crew neck or a hoodie. But yeah, these are just like perfectly oversized. I love the color options. So I'm gonna have to give these a 9.5. Similar to those, we have the crystal hoodies, which are basically the same thing, but in a cropped version. I have this in the white and the black. I don't need them though, especially because I have the white Arden hoodie and a white Christy zip up. Don't wear these that much. I tend to definitely wear the oversized ones a lot more than these. If you do want a more cropped fit and you don't want it to be so oversized and baggy, these are great. They're more affordable, obviously. They are thinner material, however. They definitely don't have that heavy quality that the Christy ones do. They are still soft. They're still a good little throw over. So I'm gonna give them a 8.5. Okay, moving on. I've had these shorts for a long time. I feel like Brandy used to have a lot of these. They don't have as many anymore. They're just this little like soft short. They say, Los Angeles on this part. They have like a cute like little lining in a different shade of blue. They're really comfy. I don't love these just because the waistband, if you have it a little bit higher, the shorts kind of come up a lot. I have some from American Apparel that are similar to this that I've had for like literally probably six years that fit a lot better than this. So I would probably give these a seven. Okay, up next, this oversized knit sweater. I love this. It's really comfy. Obviously, I don't wear it much because it's not that cold. Really nicely oversized. I really like the material. As I've said before, I really hate like an itchy knit material but this is like the complete opposite of that it's super soft i would give this one a nine and then this thermal kind of baggy cropped shirt i cropped this extra when i got it because i just wanted it to be a little bit more cropped so they are originally longer than this i wish i cropped it like an inch less other than that i love this material it's super lightweight just like baggy and cozy and it's just like the perfect thing to just lounge and sleep in like it's just so comfortable i just like to wear this with like a little bralette or like bandeau under I believe they have it in other colors as well. So I would give this a nine. Moving on to the Lydia tank tops. I have talked about these before. These are by far, in my opinion, the most worth it for the price item at Brandy. They're $16 and the material is just so good. I literally wear these all the time. It's double layered and it's kind of like a stretchy material. So it like just grabs your body and it doesn't get baggier over time like their other stuff. It stays really nice and fitted. I do wear these so often because they're just so comfy and just like super Super cute with sweatpants, super cute with those yoga pants. I like to have them in the matching sets. So like the gray I have those pants for and the blue I have the pants for. I would give those a 9.5 for sure. Okay, and then you might be asking yourself, Cleo, you have a white Lydia tank that you just showed and you need this. Is that not the same thing? Trust me, I'm not justifying it. It's so dumb, but this is different. It's a halter neck. <laughs> These are so nice as well. It's literally the exact same thing. It's just the Lydia tank, but with a halter neck rather than straps. They may be a tiny bit thinner, but not anything noticeable. And I believe they're the same price, if not cheaper. I don't need it in white if I have the Lydia tank. I'll probably end up donating or selling one of them, but, but yeah, it's super flattering, super cute, and very like summer style. Okay, up next, the Tilden pants. So these have have been in my closet for I don't even know how long. They're super cute and they're really flattering. I've always said that these are navy blue, but apparently to other people they're black. <laughs> but like, tell me that's not navy blue. That is not black. Like it's not super navy, but it's not black. It's like in between or I'm insane. I don't know. Anyway, they're super comfortable, but still really flattering, which I find to be a little bit rare in pants. Usually you're kind of either having them be uncomfortable and flattering or not as flattering and comfortable. They have a stretchy waistband and the material is really nice. So yeah, I would give these in particular probably a nine, honestly, just because I've had them for so long. So I obviously really like them. I don't know if they currently have these on the website or at PacSun, but I do know I've seen them on Depop. But then I also have these ones that are this like checkered print. These are a bit tighter and less like stretchy. They have a lot of different prints for the Tillin pants, but I don't know how often they sell these anymore, but I know that you can definitely find them on Depop. Moving on, I just have this little graphic t-shirt that's so cropped. I think I got this off Depop actually, but I mean, it's comfortable. It is a little bit too cropped, but I don't know if that's how it was or the person who had it before me cropped it more. I'd give this like a seven. Up next, these little boxer brief underwear type of shorts. I love these things so much. I was telling you guys about these in a haul a while back. I'd give these an 8.5. One reason being the seam on these ripped 
as well. I just sewed it back up and they, they haven't ripped since, but they are so comfortable and so cute. And it's like, it has a really stretchy waistband. They're just so comfortable to sleep in, so. Okay, next up, we're almost done, guys. This plaid skirt. So this is brandy, but I got it from this thrift store called Crossroads. Probably not kidding. I wanna say seven years ago, because I had this in high school and it was my go-to skirt. Like I wore it all the time. And I did used to love plaid skirts, but I literally, I'm gonna have this until it falls apart because it's just one of my favorite skirts ever. It's super cute. I can't find this anywhere, so I know it's not helpful, but just because I love it so much, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. Up next is mock neck in this navy blue color. I love the material a lot. It's like a nice rib, super soft, nice and stretchy. I really like it for layering. I'll give it an 8.5. And then this striped gray and white long sleeve. I really like this as well. It's a super soft material, but it's nothing special. So I'll give it a eight. Okay, next up, the Griffin shorts. This first color is this super light gray off-white color. So I really like these. They're really good, like simple biker short. I don't love the spandex material on biker shorts. It is good for like working out, but I do really like that it's like a, a stretchy cotton rather than a spandex. So I have these in this color, and then I also have them in black. I have had the seam on the black ones ripped once or twice. They haven't ripped on this one, but I do think that it is just like not really well made. I'll give them a seven because of the seam ripping. Okay, up next we have these little sleeping shorts. They have these in so many different prints and colors. I love sleeping in these. They're super comfy. They're lightweight. And I really like all the patterns they have. So I'm going to give these a 9. Then I also got these semi-recently. But they're this light blue kind of like biker short. They have kind of a thick waistband. And they are a bit shorter than the Griffin shorts. And then I also have these black ones that are like the same length. But they have a much shorter waistband. Actually, I don't think they are. I think these are a lot shorter actually. The only reason I have these, because they are really short, is I like to wear them under my big like oversized graphic t-shirts. These ones also. So I've had the same rip, so I'm gonna have to give these like a 6.5 just because like they're not the best quality. Okay, and then I think lastly, this little tube top, I've had this for forever. It's like um, a super stretchy one, just in this red color. I'll give this a 8.5 as well, just because it's cute in summary. Okay guys, so I believe that is it for today's video. That was a lot. Make sure to give it a like if you did like it. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here. I would love to have you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.